Fortnite launched in 2017, and since the launch of this game, it became so popular that every single gamer knows about this game. The game is developed by Epic Games, and since the game is so popular and free, so, in this video, we'll see how Fortnite makes money and how profitable the game is for Epic Games. When the game was launched in 2017, there were 20 million registered players for this game. By 2021, the figure had increased to 350 million registered players. Every month since January 2018, there have been an average of 80 million players. As of December 2022, this was the second most popular game on Twitch, with more than 30 billion views. While most video games make money by selling the game, but Fortnite is absolutely free to download and play. So then, how exactly does this game make money? The entire revenue source of Fortnite is microtransactions. What is a microtransaction? A microtransaction is when you buy something in the game. For example, Fortnite offers different costumes or skins for the players, so that each player can have that unique look. The vast majority of the players who play this game do buy these skins for their in-game characters. This alone generates the vast majority of revenue for Fortnite. Another thing Fortnite offers is the Battle Pass for the players. It costs around $10. This Battle Pass also adds quite a chunk of revenue to Fortnite. The Battle Pass gives players access to system updates, like any changes to the map or character. Free players do not get access to these changes. Fortnite uses in-game currency called V-Bucks to buy these items. You can get 100 V-Bucks for $1. Players can only purchase skins, new dances, and other items with these V-Bucks. They cannot buy something that will give them an advantage in the game. Fortnite has also cleverly taken advantage of exclusive limited-time deals. Whenever they launch new accessories for players, they make it a very exclusive, limited-time offer. So most of the accessories get sold really fast in their virtual store. For most users, these exclusive accessories are an enjoyable experience. In the free version, you will enjoy the game for a while, but this will fade after a while. By adding different skins and accessories, the overall experience becomes much more enjoyable, and the satisfaction of accomplishment is also there for most of the Fortnite players. Most players who buy a Battle Pass find it very difficult to go back to the free version of the game. So when they are offered some exclusive deal after purchasing the Battle Pass, they are most likely going to buy it. The success of Fortnite is huge, but this success is not just due to the business model of the game. It is also the game mode that it offers. Looking at the success of Fortnite, other games such as Call of Duty, Black Ops 4 decided to offer a similar kind of game mode in their game. This Fortnite game model earned Epic Games more than $9 billion in 2018 and 2019. In 2020, Fortnite and Apple got into a dispute, which resulted in Apple removing the game from their App Store. The biggest issue for the Fortnite team is the 30% cut taken by Apple on each in-game transaction. After the dispute, the game was removed from the iOS App Store as well as the Google Play Store. Before the game was banned from these stores, the game generated more than $1.1 billion in lifetime mobile revenue. Apart from that, in 2020, Fortnite generated $5.1 billion in revenue. In 2021, their revenue increased to $5.8 billion. In 2022, Fortnite took some bold steps to innovate and added a zero build feature, which not only revived the old game mode but also attracted new users. It is expected that Fortnite will make more money in the coming years. As long as Fortnite keeps innovating the new ways of introducing the game mode, they will make more and more money. I hope you enjoyed learning the business side of this awesome game. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.